Hi, I'm uh, waiting for business cards to come. I should have given this address, but I gave them my home address. And uh, if it rains and it looks like it's looks like it's going to rain outside, if it starts raining. I'm going to run home and get uh, the cards, uh, or at least sit there and wait for them. I've waited all morning for them. Uh, you never know when the UP FedEx is going to drop by or UPS, whichever one. And uh, I'm guessing it's going to be about 3 o'clock, but I wanted to get in here and get some work done before then. And it's uh, a little after 2 now. I sat home too long waiting for the cards. I should have just, you know, gotten here. But anyway, I'm going to do, uh, I, there wasn't much to do today anyway, uh, because all I'm going to do is redo the feathers. Uh, actually, I'm going to do two feathers. I want to redo the feathers, uh, these two feathers right here that are hanging off the medicine wheel. I'm going to do it like that. Now a lot of times, in fact most of the time, they would have a, a fluff, a uh, eagle fluff, hanging off of uh, the uh, medicine wheel, but a big clump of lumpy, furry looking stuff hanging out there, if, it's, if this is done in a traditional patina, it's going to look like a big lump of furry looking stuff. I would rather put the feathers on, uh, it, they, they would wear them too, obviously, uh, thus the uh, photograph. Um, so I'm going to do that and, uh, let's get started. One other thing I noticed yesterday, uh, well, let me get the light around here. It keeps on wanting to move on me and I'm trying to brace it with a piece of clay up there and it ain't working too good. Um, the one thing I noticed yesterday, and I'll show you in the profile if I can get this thing turned around without too much effort is I didn't like the under part of her chin. I, um, I'm going to raise that, I actually clean it up a little bit more. Also, the uh, this side of the face seemed a little heavy and rounded compared to this side. So I'm going to try to even those two things up. I didn't have my camera going. Um, I made uh, another feather and I matched the size of the one that I did before and the way I did that was I flattened out the uh, clay. I, I rolled out a piece of clay and then flattened it out and then I laid this feather which was the original feather on top of that feather and trimmed off the excess uh, so I'm you know, using that as a template and now what I'm doing is I'm just putting some shape <clears throat> to the feather. Now I need to have the feather thick enough to be cast and yet I need to make it look thin and uh, so and then I've got this tool um, it's got a serrated edge on the uh, sides of it and what I can do is I can just uh, use that to texture the feather so it looks like a feather you got to clean it often though. Or else you start getting little knobbies down there. 
The knobbies are not bad. I mean, it, what it does is it just uh, shows it's sculpted and not a real feather. Okay. Now just let me get these picked up. Now I need to clean up my space here. I need to make a quill. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm making it thin at one end and thick at the other. And uh, this takes some practice because it's, it wants to flip around and flop around, but uh, if you got good control and you learn how to control your clay, it won't do that. <laughs> Theoretically. Uh, lay down the quill. I'm not going to do the quill on the other side because it's not going to be seen anyway. And I'm going to cut that off there. And the reason I'm cutting that off there will be made very clear. Now, as you can see, it's got a long stem. And what they've done is they've trimmed the feather. These are fake eagle feathers, by the way. You can tell that because you can see the paint on them. But uh, long quill uh, wrapped uh, with uh, cloth and, and, and thread. And so that's what I'm going to make right now. Now, to, uh, there's a trick to making it look like thread wrapped around the piece and I'm going to show you how to do that. You just take it on the edge of your board and you can just uh, roll it back and forth. Not too hard because you don't want to cut through it. But it looks like uh, it's been wrapped with some kind of thread and then I just put the feather up here. Let's see, let's put the uh, thing on there first. And then I put the feather right there. Actually, I don't want that hanging out there like that, so I'm going to put the feather back in this direction. I'm going to cut off a little excess here. There we go. Put the feather back here. We'll do the other, same thing with the other feather. Now there's going to have to be some filler behind the feather because it's going to be going across a deep valley here and I want to make this castable so I need to fill in the vacant area behind the feather so that uh, even though it's going to look like it's just hanging out there, it's not going to actually be hanging out there. It'll be sitting on top of a bed of clay. Actually, that's uh, a bit long, so I'm going to even them up. There we go. There we go. Well, that's going to be it for this week. Um, I'm going to be heading to the foundry, like I said, tomorrow. I'm just going to assume it's going to be probably late in the morning or early afternoon. So I won't have time to sculpt tomorrow. And uh, I want to wait till I get some feedback from my client before I uh, go any further on this. Make sure it's matching his uh, vision as well. I. Uh, Will not uh, be here uh, Monday because um, I'll be packing my vehicle and uh, getting ready to leave on Tuesday. And so Tuesday night, uh, probably really late, uh, I'll have a video of the first day of travel. I'm going to try to get to uh, Cedar City, Utah, but I'm not sure I'm going to get that far. Anyway, just let me show you the roundness of it here. I'm going to fill out her head just a little bit more on this side when I get back because. 
And quite honestly, that's just not round enough there. I'll just go around to here. I think she's looking pretty good. I think it's going to look nice on a door handle. That's about the, uh, let's see, let's get that facing there. That's about the angle that the door handle is going to be facing uh, the, the uh, viewer who takes hold of the handle. So, all right, that's it. See, you. have a great weekend. Well, I just got my business cards, and none too soon. It's starting to rain real hard outside. These are what I'm going to be handing out next week at uh, the show. I haven't had uh, business cards in years, so I uh, ordered these from uh, Modern Postcards online. See their address right there. Oops, there we go. Modern Postcards. It's got a picture of me with a, a, a life-size clay I was working on oh, a year ago. April, this April. It's last April. And it's got my you know information on the back and stuff like that. So, cool. Now I got something to hand out at the, uh, the show instead of having to write everything. All right. Okay, about an hour and a half ago, there was nothing on the ground. It wasn't even snowing. Well, so now there's no TV because I get direct TV, and with heavy wet snow like this, you can't watch anything, and it doesn't do any good to clean it off because all it does is cover up again, and your signal goes away again. So, or actually, I got a movie from Netflix. I think I'll do that.